for you, smart baby. Think you have a smart child. Let's jump to how a baby's brain develops throughout time and find out. Now, personally, being the oldest of 15 different grandchildren, it's interesting to know how each, if each and every child is different and at what stages each one of us begins to develop our own different ways of thinking and logical reasoning. Now, whether you have kids, siblings, or whatever, it's wise to know how a child's brain progresses throughout time to better understand their qualitative differences and how they increase, when they increase, specifically through this theory. Now, today I will be detailing Dr. Selma Glute's take on John Piaget's theory of cognitive development through sensory motor, pre-operational, concrete, and formal operations. Now, in this first step of John Piaget's theory, he discusses how infants who are one to eight months old still haven't yet developed the sense of their surroundings until they're about eight to 12 months, making them them and the behaviors reasonably known. This first step is called sensory motor and it ranges from birth up until two years old. Now, what is an infant? It's a young child or baby or something in its early stage of development. Now, when you're hiding your face from a baby playing peekaboo like this, the baby actually believes that you have disappeared. Now, this occurs because the baby still hasn't developed a sense of object permanence and is still in their early stage. Now, the last time I played with a baby, I took away the toy to see if they would cry. To my surprise, they didn't. They just stared at me and all, until I brought it back. Now, according to Wayne State University, this part of this theory occurs in the early stages of development and up until they are 12 to 16, 16 to 24 months, they begin to increase and are more, sure, more aware of the surroundings and environment. Now, in this next step, toddlers and children begin to acquire the skill to picture the world in a mental, with mental imagery and language, as well as eventually to think logically about concrete events. Now, the second step is called pre-operational and it ranges from ages two to seven, and concrete operational, which ranges from seven to 11. Now, in the first step, the first stage, a child is able to, a toddler is able to give objects a more significant meaning uh, compared to in this next stage where a child is able to notion that something may change but still be the same thing. Now, if you were to give an eight-year-old a math problem for homework, they might come back to you the next day saying that the dog is your homework. Now, for example, if someone were to crumple up a paper bag, the child would still be able to tell you that this is a paper bag. Now, according to John Piaget, to Dr. McLeod, in a study done by Piaget and Semenska from 1952, they were able to tell you that a seven and eight year old would be able to tell you that if you were telling them something, that it would increase the amount, the quantity of what you label it. Now, for instance, I have a cousin who is about six, almost seven years old, from when she was about four, five, early six, because if you were to ask her this question, she would say yes or giggle. She claimed that she had an imaginary boyfriend. It's crazy, I know. Now, in this final step, a child enters their adolescence, which in turn can allow them to better understand more complex situations, problems, ideas, and questions. Now, what is an adolescent? It's a transitional stage of physical and psychological development that generally occurs during the period of puberty into their adulthood. Now, if you were to give a math problem to a teenager, they'd probably be able to solve it. Now, for instance, whenever my sister turned into a teenager, she was able to solve something like this. Now, this stage the teenager is able to better understand the formal operational thinking without the use of a picture or object. According to Dr. McLeod, and a, a teenager doesn't need concrete manipulation to better understand something, but is able to manipulate the idea through their head. Now, I hope you have been able to better understand the process into which a baby leads onto in their life through from birth up until they're adults. Now, I 
help you better have better understanding of Jean Piaget's theory as well through sensory motor, pre-operational, concrete, and formal operational stages. Thank you.